Hey YouTube, today I'm filming outside because it's actually sunny and it's really nice and I decided I was going to seize the day and the weather because oh my lord it is never like this. That is why it is unreasonably bright in this video because of the lovely weather and my cat is behind us and you are going to have to deal with that. Today I'm here to talk to you about being a nice person because it's something that I feel not enough people do. What brought this on is a mixture of things. One, my friend Chiru had a week of doing really, really nice things and it was lovely. And also, I have recently found myself a victim of jerks like a week or two ago. My parents decided to go away and then my older brother, who's 16, decided to have a house party. So you can already tell how this is gonna go badly is the answer. To prepare for this, we essentially decided to put away all the things that we thought could accidentally get broken. But then what actually happened was something which we didn't prepare for, was that people intentionally started destroying things, which is just something that I would never have thought would have happened, like completely just smashing things. Bottles were literally being picked up and just thrown to the floor, and my mom, has a lot of statues in the garden, like thick statues that even if they were knocked over, wouldn't have broken, and are in literally hundreds of pieces now. I spent most of that party just screaming at people because I was just so shocked and horrified by what these people were doing to my home. It came to the question of just how are you people such jerks? If someone invited you to their home, and gave you like drinks and food and a party, you wouldn't repay them by just destroying their home, would you? It still blows my mind that they could be such assholes. It makes me so angry that people are just such jerks. It's so easy to be a nice person. It's not even that you should be nice. It's that you should not be mean. Same thing goes with like anonymous hate on like Tumblr and websites like that. If, so you have to literally go out of your way to like go into their ask and to type out your message and to send it and to get all angry at them. You have to go out of your way to do that. Whereas you could literally just close the page. How about next time you type out the message instead just don't click send. So next time you're right there like about to express your opinion or about to smash a bottle and destroy someone's home or about to just be a jerk, think to yourself, how would I feel if I was the person that I'm doing this to? And then realize that you're being a jerk and then just stop. I hope that you take something from this video and decide to be a nicer person and I hope that you never have a house party because it's a very, very bad idea. And I hope that your day is good and that it's sunny where you live and that maybe I'll have reduced a little bit of world suck and a little bit of jerkiness by making this video. Expect a, another video within the next few days. Yeah, I know, right? Not, not something that most people would, uh, would actually dare to believe that I would make a video within a few days of my last video, but it'll happen, trust me. So, um, look forward to that, I guess. And bye, love you, rawr.